Did you know that Michael Jackson got married in the Dominican Republic? Well, let me tell you. He got married here to Lisa Marie Priestley on 1994 in a 15 minute destination wedding in La Vega, Dominican Republic. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Nitty Gritty Travelers. My name is Vian, and today we're going to be talking about getting married in Punta Cana. How much does it cost to get married in Punta Cana? Getting married in Punta Cana can be much cheaper than the traditional United States wedding if you take the appropriate steps. Can you legally get married in the Dominican Republic? Well, actually, yes. No paperwork is required for a symbolic wedding, but if it's a legal wedding, normally the wedding planner will officiate. You can, however, bring your own minister or pay for the service of one. Is a marriage in the Dominican Republic legal in Canada? Yup, same rules apply. How long do you have to be in the Dominican Republic before getting married? Well, you have to be at least three days before getting married in the Dominican Republic. How much is a wedding at an all-inclusive resort? By 2019, at Hard Rock Hotel, it was like $300 per person per night. Give or take additional activities plus how long you're staying. How do I become a Dominican citizen by marriage? Well, once you're married, you can apply for a citizenship after six months, independently of where you are located. What is not considered bad luck in a Dominican wedding? This is my favorite. Now I did some research and I'm going to tell you 15 things that are considered bad luck around the world, but not in the Dominican Republic. Number one is marrying on a Saturday. Dropping the rings. Using your married name before actually getting married. Receiving knives as a gift. Just be careful where you put it on your way back to the US. Being gifted a clock. Rain on your wedding day? Come on, we're in the Dominican Republic. We're in the Caribbean. What did you expect? Carrying the bride over the threshold. Seeing the bride beforehand. Really? If he's sleeping together. Peonies represent shame. A spider on your wedding dress. Crying on your wedding day. Wearing the wrong color as a bridesmaid. Sewing your own dress. Wearing your outfit beforehand. Crossing a nun or a monk or seeing a pregnant woman before getting married. Are destination weddings cheaper than traditional weddings? Yes. The only thing cheaper than a destination wedding is actually getting married by Elvis in the Maryland Chapel in Las Vegas, USA. What is the proper etiquette for a destination wedding? Well, everything goes. Just be sure to know in advance all details of your venue. Some venues are right on the beach or in the sand, but you can wear stilettos and walk over the woodblock path. What documents do I need to get married in the Dominican Republic? First, you need a birth certificate of the bride and groom. You need a notarized declaration of single status for the bride and groom. You need a photocopy of bride and groom's passport and you need photocopies of all witnesses' passports. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and like our videos and share with whoever you think would love to come to Punta Cana.